Hello friends, welcome to SAP German Language Institute. My name is Anand and this is going to be your first topic in German language in your A1 German language course and that is German basic phrases or German greetings. What phrases, common phrases you use, right? So of course we are going to talk about phrases, German greetings, but before that it is very important to know how to read German language, right? You must have seen already that um, uh, German alphabets are similar to English, yeah, so the script is same, of course, but the sounds are a little bit different, right? So what we are going to learn first, how different is it than English? And of course, we'll take the advantage of, uh, we can read English already, so that will help us to uh, learn German faster, yeah, how to read German sentences then. So we'll learn here some points like, you already know, uh, one German car company, that is Volkswagen, yeah, German car manufacturing company, Volkswagen. The spelling starts with V, yeah, the spelling starts with V, but it is pronounced as F, Volkswagen. Just like this, there are some more points. We'll see them so that you can start reading German very well. And then after that, we'll start with our basic phrases, yeah. So let's get started then, yeah. So this is going to be your first topic and let's start. Uh... There are some points like E at the end of the word. If there is a word and there is E at the end, it should be pronounced as a, a at the end. The sound will be a. For example, this one, E at the end is pronounced as a. So it is comma, comma, geha, yeah, comma, geha. Uh, Makha, Zeha, Aina. So, a sound will be there, right? So, I am sure after these uh, five examples, you must have understood E at the end is pronounced as uh, I will write here in Hindi that is a sound. Yeah, so E at the end is pronounced as uh, only this one uh, sound I'm writing like this, rest all we can explain in English very well. So, coma, geha, makha, zeha, aina, a, a, a at the end. E at the end is pronounced as a. Then let's see the next one that is ch. Ch has two different sounds. Yeah, I will clean this first. Ch has two different sounds, they are kh or sh. Kh or sh, that is depending on what is there before ch. For example, if there is a, o, u before ch, then it is pronounced as kh. Let's take an example, if it is a, ch, it will be ak. So here I'm writing. It will be makhan, makhan. Akht, akht, kh sound. So it is acht, acht. Then, uh, if there is any, ha, huh, so let's take another one. Oh, so it will be hawk, hawk. Knock, again, k sound. Then if there is u, then it will be like this. Book, book, book. Yeah. Uh, auk. Now we'll see if there is any other alphabet other than A, O, U and then CH, then what, how, what will be the sound exactly? Okay, so don't misunderstand that if there is vowel. We are saying only three vowels. We are talking about three vowels, A, O, U. Now any other alphabet like I, E or these alphabets with umlaut, A, O, U with umlaut, then the sound will be a little bit different. You must be knowing this. Yes. How do you read this? Ish. So, so, uh, sure, sure sound, ish. Then, of course, mesh. This is pesh, pesh. Uh, then, let's take this word. It is book, k sound, book. But if you put umlaut there, and it becomes busher. So, here it is k, yeah. This ch is k and this ch is sh, right? So because there is not simple u, there is u with umlaut, u with umlaut. So that's why this will be pronounced as bu sh, 
and this is book book bucher yeah i hope you understood the difference then um let's say another one a umlaut it is nacht it is nacht but if you put here a umlaut and this one it is it becomes nächte nächte so this is plural of night so nächte this is how the difference is if you use a o u before c h it's pronounced as kh and if there is any other alphabet other than this three then it will be pronounced as sh now hopefully you will understand the difference between kh and sh why the sound of c h changes yeah so now next one yeah before that we need this board to clean <coughs> i need to cut the video here when i'm cleaning <coughs> now the next one is i e i e is pronounced as e just like in b i e for example simple one v w i e so i e will be pronounced as e sound yeah and let's say here here leader another one that is leader leader so i e is pronounced as everywhere here e sound yeah but below that same two alphabets but in they are interchanging the positions that is e i so in this case if it is e i then it's pronounced as i sound like in hi okay so i will write here the same combination here it is v and here it is y okay let's say y ter yeah so v y v y y ter here it is i e r here yeah uh f r e i t h e so again it is here it is fry fry tag fry tag right okay and then here leader the same spelling i mean not same spelling same alphabets only this two alphabets are interchanging the position and this is leader this is lider leader means songs and lider means unfortunately yeah so be careful how do you read this combination it is i e li leader and it is lider lider okay so let's go to the next one that is eu yeah eu how do you pronounce eu that's quite simple eu is pronounced as oi just like in boy for example hoite so it is oi oi sound hoite hoite or another word is loiter loiter eu is pronounced as oi loi hoi yeah and the next one s is pronounced as z sound s is pronounced as z just like uh, here okay s in z z sound in was but the logic here is you have to understand that after s if there is vowel then only it is pronounced as z sound otherwise it is normal s yeah so let's see one example here uh if i write here zamstag yeah zamstag zamstag in this this s is pronounced as z sound because there is vowel after s yeah i have written here s plus vowel so after s if there is vowel then it is pronounced as z zamstag yeah uh, let's say if uh here it is zingen s is pronounced as z zingen zingen zamstag yeah but this s is pronounced as normal s so you can understand if there is vowel after s then only it is pronounced as z another example will take was ist los there are three s in this s s s but none of the s has vowel after it so it is simply was ist los was ist 
lobes. Got it? So I hope you understood. S, it's sound, when to call it Z and when to call it, when to say it, S, Z or S. Now, this is quite uh, strange, it is Z and Z is pronounced as S, like in tsunami, yeah, S sound or those who know Hindi, they know this word, that is Utsav, Utsav, S, so we need this combination here, S, yeah, S. So how do you read it then? Uh, I will write here one phrase. Let me clean this. Hmm. Uh, I will write here one phrase. So here we already know P is pronounced as F, right? And Z is pronounced as uh, Tsa or either you remember this Tsa, Tsa or this one Tsa, Tsa, T-S sound together. So this will be pronounced as Fair, yeah, Fair and then this will be Tsai because you know combination of E-I will be pronounced as I sound, I, yeah. So it is Tsai, Tsai. Uh, fair, Tsai and it will be simply Ung. So I, just pay attention to uh, my sound, what I'm saying. It is Fair, Tsai, Ung. R will go silent. Yeah, Fair, Tsai, Ung. Fair, Tsai, Ung. Fair, Tsai, Ung. Fair, Tsai, Ung. So I'm also not pronouncing this H here. So this phrase, you will read it like Fair, Tsai, Ung. Its meaning is pardon me. Pardon me. Yeah, Fair, Tsai, Ung. Fair, Tsai, Ung. Fair, Tsai, Ung. I will write two words here again. CN or sight. So here E sound, I E. How do you how do you remember this sound? I E and E I. What is the second alphabet here? E. So read it like E. What is the second alphabet here? I. So read it like I. So it is second alphabet is E, then it is CN, CN, CN. Okay? And it is I, so it is Zeit, 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 yeah. Okay, good done. So you understood Z is pronounced as sir, V is pronounced as F. This is quite easy to remember because of Volkswagen, yeah. V is pronounced as F, and J is pronounced as Y. So it is simply, yeah, yes, or Januar, Januar. Uh, Jung, their Jung, yeah, their Jung, Jung has two meanings, it is either the uh, boy or if you write like this, then it is young, or another one, uni, uli, yeah, so this is quite easy to remember, J is pronounced as Y, remember this three months, yeah, Januar, uni, uli. Januar, Uni, Yuli. So this is how J is pronounced as Y. And now SCH. SCH is pronounced as SH. You must be knowing one more German company that is B O S C H. Bosch. Bosch. Yeah. So this sound is quite easy to remember. SH. SCH. This is German alphabet that is SZ. SZ. Yeah. But its sound is nothing but uh, stress S or double S sound. Okay, so how do you read this? Spas, 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 yeah, so spas or Eisen, 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 double S sound, Eisen, or you can say mm -mm -mm. here. Giesen, 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 Heisen, Spass. So this beta is pronounced as double S, simply, Sir sound, yeah? Hmm. The next A umlaut, U umlaut and O umlaut. Let's take the example of A umlaut. So, A umlaut will be sp 
spate yeah spate spate and then a umlaut so normally without umlaut uh, a will be pronounced as spa a sound yeah but if you put umlaut there then it is like this spate spate a sound so actual english sound you can say that so spa and spate spa spate spa spate so just for practice we'll <clears throat> how do you read this ka this one is ka ka right now how do you read this ka k ka k now how will you read this k k k k and now you will read it like k ka k ka so you understood the difference right so this is how a umlaut is now let's see u umlaut u umlaut same this is ku and this is q q so u umlaut is pronounced as like u in few so it is u sound okay so let's do it once again this is ku ku these are, these are not the words okay i'm just telling you for practice ku 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 now you read it like ku q ku q this one is q q q q now can you guess yes q ku q ku right so i hope you understood now the difference between normal u and this one normal a and a a with umlaut so how do you read this in spelling you read it like a with umlaut this is a this is a with umlaut means a with umlaut u and u with umlaut so u with umlaut and next is o or o umlaut okay for example mm -mm. this one is simply kok kok okay o umlaut o umlaut then if you read this one it will become mohtan kh sound ch will be pronounced as kh but if you make it here o umlaut it becomes then yo so it becomes myo myoshtan o umlaut will be then yo so it will be myo myoshtan see the difference it is morgan morgan and this is myo myoshtan so let's take this example here yeah so ko 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 and then ko kyo ko kyo and this becomes then kyo kyo o sound yeah kyo kyo and this one kyo ko kyo ko okay so this is the difference it is myoshten and morgan morgan myoshten okay so this is the difference how you pronounce this a o and u with umlaut yeah and then the last one that is uh, i g at the end uh, this can be uh, pronounced as it is like uh, i will write this word here okay we are talking about i g at the end of the word for example so here this i g at the end can be pronounced as sh but you will notice that a uh, few people they call it fertig fertig or fertish both are correct yeah so mostly i will ask you to call it fertish 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 done ready yeah fertish fertish numbers we are going to see yeah so it is swansish tish i g at the end will be pronounced as ish sound swansish fertish or this one wishtish wishtish again sure sound wishtish wishtish okay so here we have seen how to uh, read german now you can take any text german text and you can try applying these rules um and 
sure 99 percent you will be correct if you apply them properly there are there might be some excuses uh, some exceptions i will i won't say excuses exceptions uh, then i like job job word is from english so it is pronounced as as it is job genes yeah but um, some words uh, even if they are similar to english but they are pronounced different yeah in german language so i hope you understood all these rules how to read german go ahead try some text and read it now your next topic will be basic phrases yeah so basic phrase that's why we have done all this to read basic phrases properly so soon we are going to check your basic phrases yeah